After centuries of conflict, Afghanistan is synonymous with war. Before the U.S. pullout last year, there were more guns in private hands than the Afghan police and military combined. The actual number in circulation thought to be in the millions, but estimates likely fall short. A reality inherited by the Taliban. The new government began confiscating weapons and has introduced license requirements to own and operate guns and armored vehicles. The license can be given to any individual who feels unsafe and insecure. For example, businessmen, jihadi leaders, and anyone who feels unsafe can have the license for weapons and bulletproof cars. After taking over, the Taliban released prisoners in jails across the country. And rising levels of crime, Afghans say, is a major concern. I want to get these weapons for my personal security and my company's security. We got these weapons because our lives were under threat by kidnappers and thieves, because the security situation hasn't been 100% maintained. A chaotic pullout saw U.S. and NATO forces leave behind an eye-watering amount of weapons and military equipment. And there's no guards at all. I could just grab an AK if I wanted one. Unchecked, it could fuel instability in Afghanistan and the wider region. Uh, the previous government, they have distributed thousands of uh, uh, guns, uh, armor vehicles to uh, warlords, uh, to people affiliated to their tribes, ethnicities or to their religious or uh, uh, political uh, uh, friends. Uh, through this uh, disarmament, uh, uh, the process is going to collect all those illegal distributed weapons uh, and armor cars from uh, people who are not responsible for the security of the country. The government says security has improved, but people who feel threatened can have guns if they get a permit. A three-year license for an AK-47 or pistol is just over $500, 10 times the average monthly income in Kabul. Licenses for armored cars start at around $680. The majority of Afghans who are struggling to feed themselves are priced out. But members of the Taliban are exempt. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera.